Um, my name is Dina Affek. I am Jewish. I'm an immigrant, a mother, a grandmother, and I'm a member of Jewish Voice for Peace. <laughs> I have called Albuquerque and New Mexico home for the past four and a half years. My grandparents fled anti-Semitism in Russia in the early years of the 20th century and ended up in Switzerland. My parents lived through horrific anti-Semitism and the fear of Nazism. They were relatively safe but completely surrounded by Nazis and lived in fear of their lives for many years. A part of my family was killed in the Holocaust and one of my uncles was a hidden child in France. I was born a few years after the World War but the memories of the Holocaust were ever present when I grew up. Anti-Semitism is something I'm constantly aware of. The old pain and the familiar fear are just under the surface. So when I heard about the controversy with the Women's March leadership, I was concerned. It hurts when it seems that people who are clearly and consistently anti-Semitic are not denounced completely and wholeheartedly. And and, and yes, I refuse to leave this movement. I recognize my pain, but I don't know all the pain of my black, Muslim, brown, lesbian, indigenous, and trans sisters. I know we are all in pain, and I want to know what hurts you and learn what you are afraid of. We cannot do that when we are splintered into groups. We have too much work to do. We do not have a blueprint yet on how to lead in a coalition, how to be powerful and how to work together across our intersectionalities. The models we have are mostly male, white, heteronormative, adversarial and rooted in greed. We need, <clears throat> we, need, <clears throat> we need to figure out what it means to be true to ourselves, acknowledge our unique pain and trauma, and at the same time work towards our common vision to rise up in unity and speak truth to power. Loco is benefiting from this rift. The right wing, the bigots, the white supremacists, the gun lobby, the racists, the family separators, the men who want to control us in our bodies, the climate change deniers, the Islamophobes and the anti-Semites. They are the ones benefiting. I refuse to let them have this victory. They want us to focus on who is more hurt, whose apology is sincere enough or goes far enough. They like to see our movement divided and split so that we won't talk about what really matters. And this, and this is what really matters. We need to support our sisters who we have recently elected to represent us, specifically Congresswoman Deb Haaland and Xochitl Torres Small, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham, and all the other women who hold elected office or work toward the common vision. We need to let them know what we want and hold them accountable. We, we need to let them know that we, we, um, what we fight for is based in values of kindness and generosity, decency and caring, and respect for our diversity. Politics and policies need to be congruent with those values. And this means that we need to put an end to bigotry for good. We want to keep this world livable for our children and grandchildren. We demand immigration reform that respects and cares for all immigrants, no matter the color of their skin or their economic status. We ask you to work to abolish private prisons and end the racist practice of incarcerating so many of our young people of color. We want our taxes to pay for streets and bridges and public transportation and not for weapons to be used to kill and maim indigenous, indigenous and poor people in other countries. We believe that safe housing, health care, reproductive rights and access to justice are human rights. 
We demand the right to be safe from gun violence in our cities, our schools, and our places of worship. We want you to speak up for gun control and for ending the madness of the so-called gun rights. We need for mothers of black children to know their sons and daughters are safe and are not being killed by police just for being black. Black lives matter. And this next point is particularly close to my heart and what Jewish Voice for Peace is working on. We request that you stand up for human rights everywhere, including the human rights of Palestinians and the rights of and the, and the rights of those of us who advocate for what we believe in. We ask that you not get pushed into silence and complicity, even under pressure. We have to create the world we believe in. We can model kindness and generosity, decency and caring right now, right here. There is no contradiction with these values and taking back our power as women. We can recognize that those who chose not to be with us today are likely making this choice out of pain and fear. We can respect their choices and invite them to work through our differences and stand with us on the issues we share. And I want to sum this up with a slightly adapted quote from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who we honor this weekend. The ultimate measure of a movement is not where it stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where it stands in times of challenge and controversy.